So, I mean, where was that moment that you said to yourself, you know, hey, self, I know the answer for this. It's not going and getting three other jobs. It's prostitution. Um, I was, uh, you know, as a cautionary tale of UC Berkeley, um, I was in a male sexuality course there, and there were, um, you know, we were all... Very Berkeley things like you know gender's just a construct and sexual fluidity and blah blah blah. Yeah. And being like the 18 year old person I was, I was like, yeah, like the most important thing to me is not what's between someone's legs. And so, I needed money, and I thought, why not? That Another. seems like a cheap or like a fast way to get a lot of money. Um, but I was a virgin all around. Like I hadn't had sex with a man or a woman at that point, so it was um, it was scary. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah, so you, you basically took something that was theory and commonly accepted as theory, put mm -hmm. it into practice. Was there a moment where you're like, actually, I think I might like this a little bit? Um, so I know this gets complicated for the time we have here, but <laughs> when you, when you're in Berkeley and you live in a hippy skin? dippy co-op, yeah. Um, yeah, all the everyone would make out with everyone, and there was lots of. So I had hooked up with guys in my own personal life, um, and I tried dating a guy, smart, funny, um, you know, good looking, and then I had to tell him after a couple of weeks. I was like. I, I, I don't like dick. <laughs> it's my college like, thing. I just want to titty fuck something right now. <laughs> you and know, basic bottom line is guys want to fuck. Yeah. Right? But no, so I had to, and I, it was like the reverse of what you'd normally hear. Like, I had to come out as straight to him and, like, break up with him. Yeah, it was... I'm living a lie. I tried my hardest. I tried my hardest. To, I, you know? Yeah, I, couldn't I know. Do it. That, I couldn't be gay. I know. There are a lot of people in this town who were like, you know, I tried being gay and I just couldn't do it. I have to go back to the straight world and deal with all that dating. Oh. It is... Yeah, boy. Yeah, I have a lot of gay friends, and man, when they want to fuck, it's, like, there's always just fucking everywhere. Um, it's harder. It's harder, definitely, being, like, dating in the straight world. Yeah. yeah would you date a guy that, that had done this? Honestly, for me, it would depend upon the guy. I mean, how, how centered, how squared in his brain is he? Is he, what are his reasons for doing it? Why is he, you know, whatever. Would I'd, you be afraid he'd veer back into the dark side? No. As soon as you got into an argument, you'd be like, well, fuck you, I'm going to get fucked in the ass. <laughs> That's the way guys think. I'm warning you. <laughs> well, no, would you do Andrew? If you had the option to sleep with a guy and your girlfriend was like giving you trouble, you'd go fuck a guy just to get back at her, wouldn't you? Yeah. That's sure. kind of jack up <laughs> soap opera logic, but, yeah. <laughs> but I don't of know. Course. But, yeah, you know. call Maria's world. You've got this wisdom that comes from, you know. Sucking not, dick. Yeah, you know, like, well, you're not afraid of anything. Nothing yet. ages you know, a man right? like some hot cum like down the throat. Dick. I mean, really, right, is anything no, scary no, when you nothing, nothing gives you more validity than speaking your own truth. And, and the fact yeah. that you're able to do that in the face of, of uh, people's disfavor or displeasure in, in what you've done, and you're able to represent yourself well in that, kudos to you, good job. You know? Great job, well yeah. 